yeah in last session we have seen uh, bins storage bins okay and uh, three creating uh, modes also we have seen uh, for uh, storage bin creations one is uh, manual creations uploads and uh, generating through existing templates okay that we have seen and today we will discuss some other things yeah storage bin type and bin access type that also we have seen bin type is uh, representing the <coughs> characteristics of uh, storage bins for which it is assigned and bin access type how we are going to access that bin okay now go to uwm system img setup scm extended warehouse management extended warehouse management master data next after the bins we discuss about the activity areas activity areas okay what is mean by an activity area the activity area okay what is this activity area if we read from the right side a it's an area to perform some activities it's an area okay as of now area we did not hear as a organizational unit okay this we need to perform some activities in a specific areas what are the areas available in our warehouse either storage type or section or storage bins that one area represent either a storage type or storage section or storage bin okay this definition by activity area is nothing but logical grouping of storage bins logical grouping of storage bins the activity area logically we group together some bins okay then is there any restriction those bins belongs to a single storage type is there any restriction to group from a single storage type no definition wise logical grouping of the storage bins which are from a single storage type or multiple storage types a single storage type or multiple storage type i will show you one ppt image okay okay one uh, slide logically we group together the bins into activity areas if we see here this is the warehouse org structure warehouse storage type storage section and storage bins this elliptical are there ellipticals this is nothing but the activity area this is nothing but the activity area okay see here some part of the small elliptical is covering some storage bins and the big elliptical is covering more storage bins compared to this those storage bins are coming from different storage types also different storage types also okay this one logically we club together has a activity area then what is the advantage why we need to group together into an activity area what is the advantage what is the advantage okay this is the main question and the sub question is what is mean by activity the activity is nothing but a small work 
either put away that is one of the activity picking one of the activity internal movement one of the activity like different different activities we have okay the activity areas and i want to restrict these uh, activities for specific activity areas say for example i am running one warehouse i am procuring uh, automobile parts assume that we are dealing with automobile warehouse automobile parts from external vendor apart from that printers printer inks uh, stationery sheets label print paper uh, coffee beans uh, uh, tea packets cups etc also if you observe what we are doing we are doing some automobiles parts apart from that our internal also our internal purpose we are uh, procuring some parts from vendors like coffee beans papers printers xerox machines whatever it may be printer inks and etc etc if we think here if we think here all the parts automobile parts and ink or printer parts are applying for the activity area uh, the activity is put away but i don't want to sell these printer inks and uh, uh, this uh, papers and etc those are for our only internal consumption put away is one of the activity stock removal is one uh, one, uh, one of the activity or picking is one of the activity okay i want to restrict only put away for this kind of uh, products internal consumption products what i can do i keep those in some group of bins and i assign some activity area for that one again is that activity area i restrict to only put away for that activity area so system cannot allow us to go with the picking over that products got it sir here at the activity area level we define the activities and the activity area is nothing but logical grouping of the storage bins okay this one and there is no restriction to logically group the storage bins which are belongs to a single storage type okay that we can see within the system define the activity first we go with the activities define the activities and this activity area is a major control parameter in specific kind of works in ewm in coming classes we will see all those how it is influencing various processes go to warehouse number apl see here these are the activities copied from triple zero one leave this cross line put away stack put away we are not using this one and i am not aware of that what is that okay internal movement physical inventory mfs internal movement without workload stock removal put away replenishment posting chain these are the activities and every activity is assigned to one of the category process categories see here internal movement 3 inventory physical inventory physical inventory mfs 3 internal movement internal uh, movement without workload that is also 3 stock removal peak 2 put away 1 replenishment internal 3 posting change that is separate posting change every activity is assigned to a warehouse process category these process categories are standard ones and we cannot delete or modify this one apart from that if you want to go with your own activity it is possible to it is uh, possible uh, to create it one say for example
say for example i am going to create one activity aipl cleaning bin cleaning actually this uh this standard ones fulfilling 100% of the requirement but during the labor management uh, uh discussions we have one concept called indirect labor task for that we require some activities say for example bill cleaning bin cleaning is one of the activity i am saying that it is internal warehouse movement bin cleaning like we can create activities but one category is mandatory process category this one next coming to define activity area here we go with our apl some two are there leave it those are there here defining the activities we can generate at storage type level we can generate at a storage type level or else we define manually we define manually first for one of the activity we define from the generating storage type see here come to our warehouse leave this empty just assume that empty is there now i am going to generate the activity area generate activity area from storage type come to here apl is my warehouse fast is this one and again is which activity you want to generate it say for example put away i am generating if i keep blank all activities it will generate if not we can go with only specific activities put away generating it one activity area successfully generated for storage drive fast come to here define activity area go to apl see here one is generated this one with one standard description generate activity area for storage type fast this is the standard description with the same name it will generate after creating or generating or defining the activity area it would require to assign the storage bins it would require to assign the storage bins see here i have a doubt over here. yeah please hello uh, please yeah, what is the what is the purpose what is the purpose of the checkbox this giant this yes. right uh, you will get a clear idea in uh, further uh, sessions that's what i am uh, leaving it okay okay yeah this is uh, for this uh, some uh, loac pick pack pass uh, pass some concepts are there okay that time we can discuss elaborately again and again we are coming to here in the activity areas okay now go to assign storage bins to activity areas come to here go to warehouse see here one fast is there one fast the activity area is there for that auto assignment are there fast and here some fields are there say for example yale wise you want to go with your activity area here this is possible stack wise if you want to go with the activity area that is also possible or level wise you want to go with any activity area that is also possible 
so no need to go with that storage type level if you want to divide your storage type into different different activity areas yield wise stack wise level wise that is also possible here that is also possible here okay this thing and uh, one button is there here pull consolidation group if we click on here yeah your number and setting i will tell you that consolidation group i am not saving this at warehouse number level we require to have number ranges in our warehouse level we have different different activities or different different documents first one is the warehouse task warehouse task second one is the warehouse order third one is the wave fourth one is the vas fourth one is the vas fifth one is the indirect labor tasks all we will get clarity in uh, further sessions okay this thing during the warehouse task we are going to discuss after the first transaction product warehouse task h warehouse task and etc etc at this moment just we give the number ranges and proceed up front warehouse order physical inventory document and one is warehouse documents this internal okay all we maintain now define number range for warehouse task and warehouse document warehouse is sir, what is meant by warehouse uh, document sir internal yeah, document warehouse yeah, yeah, yeah warehouse document will generate if we do uh, any uh, posting changes or warehouse orders confirmations one internal reference we cannot see in front end sir that one okay yeah uh, for reference number yeah that is that is different from warehouse task yes exactly that is different okay yeah zero one ten thousand to ten nine nine one sec i will show you sir again we will come from beginning define number ranges for warehouse task and warehouse documents in the first area we are going to generate the we are going to maintain the number ranges for warehouse task and warehouse documents two required here one is for warehouse task another one is for warehouse documents zero one i am creating one four zeros to one four nines this number range and one is zero two Two four zeros to two four nines number range. Come to here. Yes. Next. Wave. go to four series i can 400 to 499 very few only we are going to generate it no need to go with very lengthy lengthy names we have zero four vas okay internal warehouse order apl 03 i am using 
pair hose order some uh, hundreds of air hose orders we are going to create that's why some lengthy number i have taken 03 yes and one is there define number range intervals for consolidation group after maintaining the number ranges i will explain you about the consolidation group consolidation group 5 500 to 599 consolidation group cg CG consolidation group zero five gas order zero six I am using six hundred to six ninety nine. Indirect labor task. Seven I can use. Seven hundred to seven ninety nine. Next one is physical inventory documents zero eight this is year specific physical inventory eight hundred to eight ninety nine I have maintained in the deck labor tax zero seven right zero eight once after maintaining for the individual documents it would require to maintain in a table assign number range interval to warehouse number go to here select our warehouse APL The first one F1 number range for the assignment of warehouse task numbers that is 01 okay and okay next second one number range for stock posting documents 02 okay next wave zero four warehouse order zero three gas zero six indirect labor tasks zero seven p document zero eight this one one thing is remaining consolidation group here there is no space to maintain the consolidation group then where we maintain that go to goods reshift process deconsolidation assign number range intervals to consolidation groups come to here what is our consolidation group number five five series i think go to select our warehouse yeah 
here different difference are there at this moment I just I am giving 0 5 okay this thing what is this consolidation group just two minutes wait now come to our reactivity area come to our reactivity area assign storage bins to reactivity areas come to here select our warehouse warehouse number APL this one here I am pulling pull consolidation group one tab is there pulling it it is giving 500 now what is mean by consolidation group? okay first what is mean by activity area the activity area is nothing but logically grouping logical grouping of the storage bins then consolidation group is there consolidation group is nothing but the products which are storing within that activity area group together in a consolidation group products logically grouping the products those storing in a same activity area that is the consolidation group this is also one of the logical group consolidation group just consolidating logically grouping the logically group the products those products are uh, stored in a same activity area okay here two things are there, two logical things the activity area logical grouping of the storage bins consolidation group is logical grouping of the products which are uh, which are uh, stored in a same activity area this one consolidation group is nothing but logical grouping of the products which are storing in a logical grouping of storage bins within the brackets storage bin uh, activity area cut it sir please ask me any doubts if you want to understand why because this activity area and consolidation group influence factors in uh, many uh, warehouse uh, processes The activity area is nothing but logical grouping of the storage bins and if I keep some products there those products are logically grouped together in a consolidation group okay this thing next The next thing is define sort sequence uh, sort sequence for activity area. Sort sequence. Say I have wheels. This big gear we can take. This is a big gear. During the put away, okay, system should consider first stack one, next stack two, keeping uh, to keeping the products to store the products. Stack one, stack two, stack three. Like horizontal first, do you want to fill or else? level 1 level 2 level 3 like vertical direction you want to fill your product horizontal you want to fill during the put away or vertical you want to fill your products uh, during the put away that is for put away activity and if suppose uh, suppose for the against the picking activities first you want to search stack two, stack one, stack one, stack two, stack three, etc., etc. 
or else level 1 level 2 level 3 this one if i go with the stack 1 stack 2 stack 3 level is constant here once after this finished it can come to upside this like this okay if we want to go with uh, level stack is constant first one level one level two level three and stack to level one level two level three this one you want to go with this sequence or this sequence against the activity areas against the activities in a activity area bin searching in a sort sequence that defined by the bin sorting this one assign storage bins to activity areas then define sort sequence for activity area go to here I will show you the difference if we change the uh, sort sequence how system can search see here See here one fast activity area which is created against the put away activity and sequence number one that is there. One means we can maintain different different sequences also. Sort sequence. First, see we are not touching the bin subdivision, subdivision just we are going with stack and level only. Sort sequence. First stack then level or else level stack. These two we are going to use. See here first I am keeping stack and then level and sort direction i'll ascending sort direction for stack ascending and path direction stack no alternating or else keep uh, this one alternate means i will open first this next this first this 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 zigzag alternates that is also we can do but with the numbering of our storage bins with the numbering of our storage bins okay numbering that is very important here next sort direction ascending level direction i am not using this okay this 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 is enough for us Say here, sort sequence is first stack, then level. And AIL is ascending direction. Stack also ascending. Level also ascending. This is my sort sequence. Keep here. Uh, we keep this one as it is. And once after maintaining the sort sequence, one transaction is there to run the bin sorting from easy access bin sorting go to extended warehouse management master data storage bins sbst is the transaction this one go to sbst the activity area is fast put away is sorry uh, activity is put away only one activity we have generated These two bins leave these two bins, okay. Some RAC, RAC, some okay. This one, see here first Yale one stack one level one, next Yale one stack two level one means here up to here. If you find out here, 10, 10 stacks are there, stack is stack is increasing level is constant means stack is increasing 
like this direction it is going stack 1 stack 2 stack 3 stack 4 compare with this table from here to here yale 1 stack 1 level 1 yale 1 stack 2 level 1 means like horizontal direction it is going against the put away and keep aside this now i am going to change this one sorting direction for stack sorry this one sort sequence see here stack and level is increasing now what i am doing level first level and stack second preference keeping it have a look on this first stack only increasing up to 10 level is constant now i changed here level uh, first increase and stack remains the same i am keeping this aside go to the next screen master data storage bins sort storage bins One sec. Yeah. See here. This is the latest one. See here. What is the first one? Yale one zero one zero one. Yale one zero one zero two. Yale one zero one zero three means if you see up to six level is increasing stack is remain same stack is same now it is going to horizontal direction horizontal direction this is going to earlier was vertical direction okay this thing got it sir short sequence this is optional depends on business requirement we need to uh, act okay if they want to go with any alternatives uh, we can use these alternatives and etc etc okay if they have sir, any, yes bin, uh, yeah, sir, bin labeling is uh, we can do uh, 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 from top to bottom or bottom to uh, so that uh, it will be bin labeling also important now here. yes exactly and here two things Either they want okay. to go with existing bins or else uh, either they want to go with new bin numbers. That is important. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All Generally, all the all... customers will be existing bins only. Yes. 90, more than 90%, they proceed with their existing bins itself. Why? Because already uh, uh, they yeah they, they, they are familiar with the uh, existing beans and etc etc is there okay in that case what will happen is uh this our bin structures cannot support them but we have bin upload option is there we can upload it okay, okay. yeah like this thing sometimes they may not use bin sorting also that's why it, it is giving blank option also every everything we have the blank option there is, it's not mandatory also it's not mandatory it is one of the uh, option available yeah uh, is this uh, line bin in queue I, i'm not getting uh, here sir uh, is this line bin in a queue so is it like uh, all bins we are putting in queue one after another if it is next yes yes exactly exactly Yes, exactly. Yeah, one after. Say, for example, if I fill first bin, see here. In this case, if I fill first bin, what the.
పవర్ పోయింది వచ్చింది మళ్ళా కనెక్ట్ అవుతున్నా అదే 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 నా పక్కనే నా పక్కనే అయిపోయింది ఆటోమేటికలీ according to the business requirement we need to maintain the sort sequences and that is optional also say here like this direction or this direction or alternate also possible if standard is not supporting some enhancements also available bad is enhancements but nobody can uh, make uh, uh, like uh, complication things in our in their uh, business okay nobody can go for uh, much complexity during the put away or uh, everyone looks so for a easy way oh. yeah please yes yes you can sir uh, please sir go ahead no. so but bin shorting is a very standard thing means how the bins are mapped so how come some enhancement of bodies is possible means any example yeah say how for okay. example uh one sec uh, i will give you one example yep say this is a hill in between i am using some car car means a warehouse some trolley or whatever it may be for put away or picking that car will move horizontal and vertical direction okay and only the way for that car only on top of that car one worker is uh, sitting one worker is sitting during the put away first he uh, keep some product here and then some product here and he will move up here and here and then here and here like this he can uh, keep the product for put away okay or else start uh, he starts his activity from that side end like after completing uh, these are the <coughs> last bins for him last bins but during the bin arrangements this is 1 and this is 20 if i assume that this is 10 and 11 10 and 11 this one yeah these things okay got it sir this one and for that we need to go with some critical enhancements okay this thing. now this is about the bin sorting bin sorting okay we have seen now the activity areas bin sorting and coming to the activity area wise we will do one thing we don't have bins for slow storage type right go to master data storage bins define bin structure new entries just i am giving one demonstration how to uh, club bins into a single activity area which are from different storage types template here we can use instead of fast we can use slow okay increment this one slow just i am creating now generate the bins come to extended warehouse management master data storage bins generate storage bins create bins 
60 pins are generating create it now this fast bins fast storage type bins and slow storage type bins i want to use in a single activity area go to spr scm extended warehouse management master data activity area define activity area i am going with one comm common just i am giving common common activity area this one common activity area now come to assign storage bins to activity area new entries warehouse is apl activity area is comm storage type fast sequence number 1 apl activity area common slow storage type sequence number 2 see here in the same activity area i am assigning different storage types okay if i want to maintain a consolidation group i want to maintain a consolidation group just pull this consolidation group one sec select now pull this consolidation group one sec one sec changing the range requires a resort of uh, bins okay one sec yeah one is 502 consolidation group it is there for this one okay now come to the second one here i am giving manually 502 if we see here the activity area fast also we have 502 and slow also we have 502 consolidation group means whatever the product i keep in this both storage types those are belongs to a single consolidation group like n number of storage types we can assign to a single activity area say for example this one first yale and slow also first yale i want to club it together in a single consolidation group okay this one for this error is coming okay right we can do one thing here 503 is there now i am changing it to two this one okay like we can maintain means this storage type this yale only first yale and this storage type first yale only i club it together like these things we can use or else yale okay stacks see this stack and this stack within this some stacks of this storage type some levels of this storage type if we want to go with we can assign this one okay once after assigning this it would require to go with the bin sorting define sort sequence for activity area okay that we have seen this okay this is about uh, the, the activity area concept this is the most important influence parameter in ewm this activity area sir uh, in this activity area configuration i don't see any uh, tr is generated it means it's it can be done directly in the production or what i mean 
no 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 we will get right uh, why can't check i will show you no only in the active area you got this but when you create the sequence and all this stuff one second, one second. no 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 that that is a uh, first thing it is saved okay okay go to here say no 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 define activity area new entries apl du mm dummy okay see here this is generating okay uh, if i keep here and i'm not going in depth uh, uh um, i'm not uh, completely coming out from this uh, transaction say here go to new entries du mm fast assume that yeah generating sometimes yeah but whatever you do in the easy access you will not get generated that is okay yes. generating an ish tr okay this is about uh, the activity area yeah and uh, tomorrow what we do we check the system accuracy and we start to work with small small transactions okay from tomorrow onwards okay if anything a configuration is required for us that time we can configure we discuss briefly and configure it okay sir thank you any, any doubt uh, sir before closing the session sir yeah please sir hello uh, sir, please, yeah. Okay, assign this activity area to bin also you should correct this assign activity area to a, a, a single bin so one bin cannot be assigned to many activity area no that is possible right see here in our example only you you can see fast is one activity area and the common is another activity area both the fast uh, both the uh, common and fast activity areas having the uh, same bins from fast storage type. That is possible, not a problem. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. There is no restriction. Then uh, suppose my activities pick also put away also. If I assign to one bin, so which will take precedence? Which will control that pick first be done or put away? Correct. Just for example. Uh, for that, uh, you need to have the sort sequence. Yep. If you arrange a sort sequence in a in a disciplined manner, the system look over that and uh, execute all those. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And apart from that, if you want to go with your own under the extended warehouse management business add-ins for extended warehouse management, one concept is there. Enhancements. Go to master data. activity areas see here define sort sequence for activity areas okay, okay. yeah okay this thing okay sir yeah okay sir thank you thank you for attending the session have a nice day bye sir yeah